Hey beauties! So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup room slash kind of clothing haul because just because I want, okay, I want to showcase my outfit for today because I, I, I think it's really cute and I woke up like three hours early to do my makeup. Oh, these sweatpants I got from Old Navy and then these are my new dock boots I got. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the pink laces on them and I think they're really cute. And then this shirt I got from Target and it has... See? It has a high neckline, so I really like it. Today I did my makeup using a couple of different palettes, but I tried focusing on creating sort of like a red slash like dark brown silver look. So we went with that, and then I kind of just threw my hair up in this. So yeah, so we're gonna get started. So first I'm going to start off by showcasing my new rolling cart that my parents actually got me. I think it was from Michaels and it was actually really cool because I used to only have this like three storage one and I definitely needed a new one. So up here on the top I just have some makeup wipes because I'm always needing those and always reaching for them. And then I have my BoxyCharm January description which I like using for my videos. And then I also have this, um, it's like this towel and I got it from a hockey ice hockey game I went to with my friend. And I actually use this to take off my makeup sometimes, especially when I wear false lashes. I always like just gently kind of rub it. And then here I have in this first drawer is where I keep most of the makeup I use constantly in my videos or like necessities. So here we have some Too Faced highlighters, and I absolutely love these highlighters, and I'm always using them. So next I have another highlighting kit, my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just gonna like sort of showcase it. Woo. But so I love this highlighter so much, and I'm always I'm always just using them. Next I have my Storybook Cosmetics. And I have not used this actually a lot lately, but I really like it and it's really pretty. So it has powder on it from uh, Myers Fun Setting Powder. <laughs> and then next I have my nude Huda Beauty palette and I'm always showcasing this one. So next I have my glitters. Okay, so literally I keep all of my eyeshadow glitters in this one little bag. So in here, I have some Stila glitters as well as some Tarte glitters, and I mostly have like golds and purples, and so that's usually where I keep them, just to keep them stored away, because I would always get them confused for lip glosses when I would put them in my drawers, which is why I decided to switch it up. And then next I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit, and I use this a lot. And then next I have my Tarte. This is the um, clutch it's, um, like bronzer, blush, and so that's really neat. And so I keep that in there. And then next I have my Too Faced Then and Now eyeshadow palette, which Too Faced is coming out with a new nudes eyeshadow palette. And I'm really excited for that. So. The next drawer is second what I use most. And so this is my Too Faced Pretty Rich palette. Some of it today. However, it is not scented like the rest of Too Faced palettes. So I'm upset about that. And then here's my Tarte Fairy Dust palette. And I use this one a lot too. My mom is also always sharing this. So we always just keep it right here. And then next, I got this in the um, December Boxy Charm Forest of the Sea by Tarte. And it is Okay, it is so pretty and I just love all the shades and it's really good for like neutral kind of eyeshadow looks. Next is my, oh dear, Too Faced 2D Fruity Palette and I use this palette a lot in my Starbucks video and I really like it. It has all like these shades of pink and purple. <laughs> and next is this Tarlet in Bloom palette. I actually 
I really like it and I kind of have kept it. It's really nice and I use that a lot. The next I have my Soul and Mar palette, which is just the orange and the blues. And so I really like those. And next I have my first palette ever, the Too Faced Chocolate. And it smells so nice. And as you can see, like most of it is used, but I really like it. And I still use it because its quality is just so nice and I'm really happy with it. So that's it for this drawer. Oh, uh, this is the fourth drawer and I actually, this is all my hair stuff. I keep my headbands here on this side and my scrunchies, usually I keep them like up close. I have a couple of them. I don't have a ton of scrunchies, but I like to keep the big ones up here and then I have mini scrunchies. I've actually lost half of them, unfortunately. And then I have this just strawberry bath bomb, which I have yet to use, but it smells really nice. Um, and then I have some bobby pins, just ponytail holders, hair clips, and then like mini rubber bands that I put in my hair. And so I just keep this all here. And then the second drawer is also still hair related. This is where I keep all of my hair brushes, shower cap. Um, and then I have these little hair clips that I use to put my hair back when I do my makeup. I also use this Redken no blow dry stuff and this is for when I don't blow dry my hair, but I want it to come out looking like I did. And I love this stuff so much. It works so well, and I'm really impressed with this. And then I also have this, and it is Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Soft Waves. And I use this whenever I put like my hair in like little braids, and I want it to come out cute and curly, and this stuff really works. It smells really nice, so I love that. Next here, I have all of my skin products and I use all this stuff pretty much a lot. Um, I have my chocolate therapy face gummage, the advent sleeping mask, the I do care disco kitten. I love this mask so much. Um, and then I also have this Himalayan salt scrub. However, I don't use this a lot because whenever I put it on my skin, it burns. And then I have some yes to paper mask right here. Oh, I also have these acne cover blemish patches and so I don't know how well they really work but we use them a lot anyway so and then I have these cute little like cactus themed um, mask sheets and those are really cool so yeah and then here I keep all of my extra beauty sponges I have all of these and so these are the extra ones i use these mostly on my face however these are extra that i like to use whenever i do like maybe my friends makeup or just some extra sponges that i would need for any shows that i do and then here i also have this pro series brush cleanser and conditioner and so next i have my vanity and here i like to keep just my lotions body spray and all of the essentials that i use like right before school and that's just that side. But in this drawer here is where I keep all of my lip stuff. And it's definitely expanded. Let me pull it out. So here I just have some of my immediate stuff I use, which is like Huda Beauty, Ulta, Broadway, um, Tarte, Too Faced. I love these a lot, and I kind of just keep them all. <laughs> And over here, I have like my Spore lipstick. And you see, I have mostly lip glosses because I love them. Also, my Stella Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. Love that. And I all kind of just here. That's pretty much it for this drawer. So, here in the middle, I have all of my essential stuff that I use pretty much every single day and that I need access to like quickly. And so here I have just like my sprays, which I use on my face or sometimes even my sponges, my Ubedescu, Body Shop, all that stuff. And then right here is where I keep all of my like foundations and concealers. And so we have our Milani Conceal Perfect Concealer, Tarte Shape Tape, Tarte Face Tape. Um, here I also have um, the Fenty Beauty Highlighting and I really like that. And then Urban Decay. Um, also my NYX setting spray and then this I just got and I'm gonna use it soon. I'm really excited to try it 
and, and then Bare Minerals Concealer. And then back here, I have my It Cosmetics powder, and I just keep that right. And so next I have all of my brushes. And so right here, I keep all of my eyeshadow brushes, like right here. And so let me set them here. So here I have my Tarte brushes and then Too Faced. I also keep the Vamp stamp in here. Um, what for them? And so I have a ton of those and I just keep them all together in one little jar. Same with all of my essential face stuff right here. And I keep all the smaller facial brushes. And also, it also helps me remember like what they each do. So I use this with concealer a lot, blush, highlighter, contouring. And then these are just two extra ones, which I don't know what to do with yet. And then next I have my big fluffy brushes. And these I primarily use for my foundation or my bronzer. My St. Ives lotion and i usually use this actually on my face just under my eyes because my skin is so sensitive and st Ives seems to be the only thing that doesn't make my skin break out or react really bad so i tend to use that i also keep a very <laughs> up toilet paper laying around because this is what i use to sort of kind of clean up my makeup or to blot my lips with and then this here is sort of just like this um fluffy pad thing I guess and all of like my face mask and stuff so it kind of just sits right here um this is also lotion that I use under my eyes and it really works well my airspun loose setting powder because she does not fit like anywhere and I don't have enough room for her to prioritize it so she kind of just sits right there and then here I have I cut my eyelashes with this which is probably not good because I need to find something smaller also have my mirror here. This is what I use for mostly some of my lighting in my video. Um, this is iHome brand, I guess. And it's really cool and you can hook up your music to it. And then here I have my second drawer. And this consists of primarily face stuff that I use a lot. <laughs> um, here is this crayon highlighter, which is actually really creative and I really like the concept of this. I'm gonna do a separate video on it sometime, but we will see. I have my Pixie highlighter, my brow bar by Rima, which the eyelash thing actually fell out it's right there. And I have my eyeshadow primers. I use the eyeshadow insurance by Too Faced and then the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. Here I have, I also use this on my brows and so I just brush them up. And I also use, um, this side sometimes brush through my lashes if I need to. And then here I just have my mascaras. I have Too Faced, Tarte. I have a lot of Tarte mascara. Tarte again, um, Maybelline, Bare Minerals, um, Tarte again. I have a lot of Tarte. And then here I have my Super Shock highlighter, which I use a lot. As you can see, it's already really small um i have my eyelash curler i have my Too faced sparkling pineapple and i love this highlighter so much i have two of these and then next i have my hula bronzer which i keep in here here i have my blush that i use primarily my eyeliner by benefit which i use sometimes and um here i use this on um, to hold my eyelashes and just sort of just like place them on um, here i have my nyx studio perfect photo loving primer and i love this primer i actually just bought this um oh i also have my eyelash glue i have a, another set of glue here i have the white glue that you sort of just like squeeze on and then here i have the one that you brush on in the shade dark, which is, I like this a lot. Oh, this is my Lancome. Oh, here's my Tarte Amazonian clip. That is primarily it for this drawer. But that is primarily it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching, and my next video will be featuring the Cover Fix foundation as well as the new Stilly Glitter, and I hope you'll stay tuned for that. Bye.